Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fact Hipster channel. It's me, John, and today I'm going to be doing the first of a four-part series in which I review some items from Japan that celebrate the 50th year anniversary of Cup Noodle. Nissin is the brand that makes Cup Noodle. You're familiar with a cup that kind of looks like this. In the United States it looks a little bit different. But this is the Japan version, the ones that are branded 50 anniversary. They had a special package that you could get that had like eight different flavors of the cup noodle. Um, it also had these like Cheeto kind of snacks that were dusted with uh, different flavors. I forget the exact Japanese name for those items. But the thing that I was most interested in were these. This is cup noodle can bottle of soda and I have in my possession all four flavors of the soda and all four corresponding flavors of the cup noodles so what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste the cup noodles the cup noodles are all the Japanese varieties um, not the United States ones because they are different in some subtle or big ways but I'm going to see hmm, if I like the noodles will be part of it but mainly does it taste like the soda and is the soda any good so the first episode which is this one you're watching right now is the original cup noodle flavor um, this entire packaging is in Japanese caricatures except for the word cup noodle and some numbers on here as well but all you do for this is you boil water fill it to the line which is about right here close it up and wait three minutes I've already done that and you open it up and this is what you get now immediately you'll notice on top of this that this does look different than if you're in the United States what a cup noodle looks like. There are shrimp, eggs, and pork bits on top of here, as well as some green onion. And then it does have the noodle soup base, kind of just mixed all in the cup itself. Now this has been sitting a little bit longer than three minutes, so it has absorbed most of the water. But let's just taste a few things here individually. I don't think I've ever had the Japanese version of this. So here's a little bit of the egg. It does have a dehydrated, rehydrated egg texture to it. It was really savory. It doesn't really have an egg flavor. It just absorbed all the broth flavor. A little shrimp. That definitely has a bit of a shrimp kick to it. And we have these meatballs which I believe are pork. Hmm. Still has a bit of a meaty texture to it. And lastly we're going for some noodles. And let's see if I can get some broth in here too. Mm. very savory I believe for the original the broth base is mostly chicken but there is some seafoody flavors in there as well <clears throat> but it has pork shrimp eggs so it's got at least three different animal types in here let's see if I can get a bite with a little bit of everything some egg some shrimp and a meatball. It's tasty with all those protein toppings on top. This cup noodle is definitely worthy of a lunch. Now, Let's see if that lunch would go good with this beverage, the 
cup noodle soda. I'm going to pour it in here just so we can see the color of it and see how fizzy it is. Let's go ahead and crack it open. See if we can hear a fizzy crack. A little bit of a hiss there. Um, this does say to drink it by February 2nd of 2022. Um, I've had this for a little bit now, but uh, it's been delayed. This is supposed to be a ginger ale base, but with a salt and pepper flavoring added to it. It does smell very gingery, and then like some kind of seasoning added to it as well. Let's go ahead and pour it out. So it's a little cloudy, but that is like a ginger ale type of color. It's very gingery in smell. Let's give it a sip. Overall, it is very much a ginger ale. But it does have like that savory, salty kind of flavor to it as well. It's actually quite tasty. If you were a, a fan of ginger ales, or even like root beers or sodas that are more botanically flavored, you might actually like this one. It is a... Uh, The smell is more savory than the flavor. When you taste it, it's really it's really more of a ginger ale than anything else. It's just the the smell that's more intense. Now, as far as tasting like the original cup noodle, I don't think it's quite on par with it. This is by far more savory. When you get the chunks of like egg and shrimp in here, it really gives it a, a really big boost of savoriness. Whereas the the soda, and like, this is not a complaint because I think this is how they should have done it, is it's far more of a sweet soda beverage. But it does have a good smell to it. The smell actually matches very well. Like, if this were to have ginger in it, I think these two would smell very close to each other. I think it's just the fact that this is super savory, and this is more sweet than anything. It's really like the, the big difference. Although, uh, like I said, the smells are very close, and I think they actually pair well together. Uh, the gingery sweetness of this is is really the main flavor, um, but the main smell is ginger and salt. I would say. I forgot to re-mute my computer. Mm. See, I don't really eat cup noodle a lot. United States because they're just really bland. There's not a lot to them. But uh, the Japan version, it's really good. Like the, even if it didn't have the meat on top, the soup is really savory. And 
and the noodles have a really good bounce to them. So, I guess the biggest thing that I've learned from this video is that cup noodle in Japan is way better than the cup noodle here in the United States. And the second thing is that the cup noodle soda, or at least the original, I'm giving it a thumbs up. It has a really pleasant smell. It's, it's like ginger and salty herbs. If I look through the light, there's not. It is opaque, but there's no like floaty anything in it. You can, the way I can see through it, even if I look straight through the light, it it has a haze to it, but it doesn't have any like solid floaty bits in there at all. So far, one for one. Happy 50th anniversary to Nissan Cup Noodles. I really enjoyed the Cup Noodle Soda. It tastes just like a ginger ale that's been amped up. And I like that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I got three more Cup Noodle Sodas that will be coming out soon after this one. Hope you enjoyed this one. Give a thumbs up leave a comment uh, let me know if you've tried these uh, not uh, very easily obtainable here in the United States it, you can do it um, but uh, most of the ways you can do that are pretty expensive I came across a good deal maybe I'll go over that in the next video but uh, anyway see you later guys have a great one and bye